Hi, hey, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. Today we're going to do the mid-year freak out book tag. <laughs> As you can see behind me, um, there's some books, some piles of books. Um, I've put up all the books I've read so far this year, as in all the books I've read from January until the end of June of 2022. So um, over on this side, we have all the audiobooks that I did rereads of, but on audio. Um, and then, I mean, this pile over here, Twilight uh, series, is also a reread technically, but all on this side, we have all the physical books I read. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's a lot of them. Um, if I have counted correctly, there should be 69 books. Um, I read 70, but one was an ebook, so 69 books behind me. Don't we like that number? <laughs> but that is not why we're here today, because um, I'm going to do a video at the end of the year, like calculating all the stats as in how many books, how many pages, how many hours did I listen to whatever books I listen to. Um, so that will be coming for the end of the year. So all you uh, nerds out there that likes to st st statistic thingies, um, yeah, you have something to look forward to. Uh, I'm gonna mostly do it because I'm very curious about it myself and not just to, you know, show off or anything. Uh, it's every very individual, this thing called reading, and we should not compare ourselves to others because that's just idiotic and toxic and yes, Katie Val, I'm looking right at you too. <laughs> but that is not what we have today. We are here to do the mid-year freak out book tag. I think those were the correct words in the right order. I don't know what I'm saying. It's very hot and my brain has melted. Anyway, let's get into the questions. So, question number one. Best book you've read so far this year? So, obviously I just don't have the one answer because that would be too simple and, you know, that's just not how my brain works. Anyway, so I will put up the picture here because I'm not going to pull out the books in the piles because I'm that lazy, but it's helping me to remember which books I want to you know, mention. So, the first book I want to mention, I think it would have to be The Prison Healer. So, I had no idea what this book was going into it. It was a prison, there was a healer in the prison. That's about it. That's what I figured out from the title. This book was shocking. <laughs> um, it's a very, very easy read. It's like everything flows very naturally. And then you sort of like figure out stuff along the way. You get like bits and pieces from her memory, like thinking back. And yeah, like I said, everything just flows. And then you get to the ending and it's like, what? Excuse me now? What just happened? Plot twist. Yes, I love it. It's such a good cliffhanger that I'm like, I want the next book. I don't have the next book, but I really, really want it. Um, it's, it's such a good ending that you need the next book like straight away. So yeah, why I haven't picked that up yet? We, we don't know, we don't know, but it's, it's there. <laughs> um, another book I want to mention is Good Omens. Good Omens was one of our Chaos Court book club picks. It was actually my pick, but you know, you know. Um, so I saw this series with Michael Sheen and David Tennant before I even read the book. And I think I saw it like two years ago, I wanna say. Could it be last year. Who the hell knows? I, memory fails, you know. Um, <laughs> but I really loved the show and I thought it was so funny. And it was like, well, you know how there's always like more stuff in the book, so I really wanted to read a book, and we did as part of the Chaos Core. Go link in the dis link in the Discord, link in the description for the Discord channel. You know we have a lot of fun with that, and 
yeah. <laughs> um, I really, really liked the book. I thought it was well funny. Uh, I mean, it's it's the British humour in it, and it's a mix, and it's. I I feel like even though it's written in like late eighties, um, because it was published in in nineteen ninety, I'm pretty sure. Um, so even though it's like late eighties humor and you know stuff around, there's no like mobile phones and stuff like that. But you know, um, I thought it aged very well, surprisingly well. Um, you're not like missing out on anything. You just everything just seems to fit like it should. Um, like it had been written today or now, <laughs> rather than. 30 years ago? Oh jeez. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Anyway, not everyone has liked that book, but I mean, we can't love all the books out there. It's just, it's just how things are. Um, let's see. Skyward. Skyward is also a one I want to mention. Um, this was also a Chaos Court book club pick. It's uh, Brandon Sanderson's YA series. So we go into space and I was like, I really didn't know what to expect going into it. I, like most books, come to think of that. <laughs> but I ended up really getting sucked into it and just, yeah, it's also one of those, like, I need the next book now. Although I have heard that, like, book two and three is just, like, a carbon copy of book one. So, maybe not as good. But the first book, terrific. You should definitely, definitely, definitely pick that one up for kicks and giggles. So, question number two. Best sequel you read so far this year? Sequel. I haven't read a lot of sequels, you know, that I haven't already read. Um, oh, oh, oh. The One for Sorrow or Two for Joy, as the sequel is called. The Magpie Society by Zoe Seg and Amy McCullough. Um, the, the ending of the sequel, well, <laughs> the second book, last book in that series, a duology rather, um, I did not see that one coming. Yes, the ending, I mean, the ending is kind of terrible, um, but just thinking of what's actually happening, but the ending is so good, it's like, it's like it's come out of nowhere, but when you go back and think about what's like happened previously up until that point, you're like, this makes so much sense. Um, how did I not figure this out before? But I didn't. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've, I've not actually seen a lot of people do um, reviews of those books, so I don't know if um, other people have figured it out, but... I mean, I guess it's there, but I didn't feel it was so obvious, like, of course, that's that's the killer or the bad guy or whatever. Um, but there we go. I would definitely recommend those books, the duology. Um, it is YA, yes, I know. <laughs> um, but I do love a good YA. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, question number three. New releases you haven't read yet but want to. Okay, so what books have come out so far this year? Um, House of Sky and Breath is one. Um, I will be reading How, well, not House, um, A Court of Silver Flames before I read House of Sky and Breath because apparently you're supposed to. And uh, yeah, there's a whole thing with the covers and stuff and yeah 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 don't don't let me get into it it's gonna make us stay here forever anyway uh so how's the sky breath is one we had fevered star um the sequel to black sun 
Black Sun. Um, but apparently it's not as good as the first one, so it's like, mm. I still want to read it, but I might not pick that one up until the third one comes out, which I think will be next year. So I might do like a reread of Black Sun and then Fever Star and whatever the third one is called, I don't know. <laughs> Um, what more do we have here? Um, Blade Breaker by Victoria Aviard, the sequel to... what's it called again? Round Breaker? <laughs> yeah, me and remembering stuff right now. Brain is melted, okay? Brain has melted. Um, I do really, really want to um, see what happens next. I don't know if it's going to be more in that series or if it's the duology we shall see when we get to that book um where whenever that will be probably not until next year i'm not gonna lie blood marked by tracy dion the sequel to legendborn so legendborn ended i guess technically a bit on a cliffhanger as well it's not as bad as other cliffhangers go but Definitely one that I want to continue on and see where this all leads. So I think that's come out or it's coming out. I'm not sure. I don't have all the numbers in my head. Um, what more? Ooh, This Wicked Fate by... What's she called? What's she called? Kaylin Bayron. Um, the sequel to This Poison Heart. Trying to remember stuff from the top of my brain is hard, okay? Um, that one as well, that ended on such a good note and I'm like, yes, uh, give me more of this. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Also, I don't have any of these books yet, but yeah, they will be coming to live in my, uh, in my library soon enough. Sometime, hopefully. Question number four. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year? Uh, the only one I can think of is uh, Lindsay Kelk's This Christmas Surprise or something like that. It comes out uh, in November. I know there's more because I know I've pre-ordered books, but, you know, I'm going to go with that one. It's not a YA, it's a contemporary romance, yay! Question number five. Biggest disappointment of the year so far? Um, I'm gonna have to go with To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Um, I think I expected more from that book. I haven't even finished that book. That's how big of a disappointment it was. Um, I will be finishing it, but when I'm in the right mood. Um, the other one was The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. There we go. Um, that book, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't really have expectations going into it, but, um, when reading it, it's just like fighting war, fighting war, training, blah, 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 revenge, revenge, very weird sex scene that goes like, I, I, I'm not even going to go there, but it, it didn't give as much as I felt it should have. However, I have heard that the magic system in that series comes out a bit more in book two, so... I'm hoping that book two will like redeem some of the failure, I guess, the disappointment of book one. We shall see. Um, also, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. That book is so hyped up and I don't know why. I, I, I did not understand what was, what is so great about that book. Question number six. Biggest surprise of the year so far? Not sure. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back to this question at some point because... Yeah, I, I'll, I'll put a pin in it until the end of the year and we'll go back and see. 
we'll go with that one. Question number seven. Favourite new author, debut or new to you? I don't think I've read any, like, debut authors that's come out this year. Um, it's hard to say as well for, like, favourite new author because I want to have read more than one book by said author. Um... But I think I might go with uh, Lynette Noni, who wrote The Prison Healer, because I really like that book. Uh, it's the only book by them that I've read, so it's like putting up, putting them up uh, on a pedestal. But, I mean, if uh, more books come out, like, gives the same vibes, um, then, yeah, I think that might be one. What else have I read? Oh, Brandon Sanderson as well. He's definitely not a debut author because he's been writing books for years now, but he is new to me. Um, so, so this year, so far, I've read Elantris and I've read Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I have started The Final Empire. Um, not gone very far yet. I have started Warbreaker because that is uh, pick up big of the month for July. Chaos Court, link in the description, link in the description. Yes, yes. Um, and I'm really enjoying both of them so far. Um, so, um, I, I think they're gonna end on a high. So, yeah, Brandon Sanderson is, uh, probably one of them. Question number eight. Newest fictional crush. Don't have one. Question number nine. Newest favourite character? Don't really have one there either, I'm not gonna lie. Question number ten. Book that made you cry? I'm not sure I've actually... Any book has made me, like, cry so far this year. I don't know, I don't think so. But... Listening to the audiobook of, of the Hush Hush series, um, well, it made me more physically gag than cry, but it made me very sad because that was terrible. I mean, the series isn't the best series out there, <laughs> I'm just saying, but the audiobook for it was rubbish. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> Question number 11, a book that made you happy. I might have to go with Good Omens because that just, that book just gave me so many laughs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Question number 12, most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year. So when Katie and Ezra came to visit, they brought me uh, Heartless by Romero Meyer. Um, which I just find stunning, okay? I just love that cover. Ariane by Jennifer Saint is also lush. Oh, uh, With This Kiss by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Stunning, sprayed edges. Yes, yes, yes. Question number 13. What books I need to read before the end of the year? All of them, obviously. Obviously, obviously, yes. Tom McGree's probably not. He's, I think he's chasing bugs. <laughs> um, I obviously need. Now, I don't need to read them all, but I want to read them all. Uh, obviously, I will not be reading all of them because um, I just am not capable of reading that many books. Um, not in the amount of time that's left in the year. But, you know. I shall try my best anyway. So that was all for this tag and before my camera overheats again, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time, hopefully very, very shortly. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.